here we are at the Bird Fair. I'm on the new pro stand, um, looking at the latest Vortex binoculars. I'm joined here by David. Hi. Pleasure to meet Hi, you. Hi, Likewise. Um, just tell us about obviously the new Vortex Crossfire binoculars that we've got here then. Indeed. Not quite brand new hot off the uh, production line, um, but uh, they've just gone a little bit cool. Right. Only a month in. Um, new Crossfires, there are entry level binoculars. We're looking at an 842, a 1042, and then for those that want bigger objective lenses, we've got a 1050 nice. and also the new 1250 for those that require the uh, extra bit of magnification. Slightly new streamlined design compared with the old favourite Diamondbacks, which are our uh, staple diet these days. Yeah. <laughs> slightly sli slimmer, rubber armoured, slightly yeah. more streamlined look. Oh, they feel a lot more comfortable, aren't they? they are. A lot more yep. comfortable. Some people still prefer to put their hands around a good, strong rubber armour binocular, but we're finding that nowadays something a little bit slimmer fits the hands. Also caters for those with smaller and uh, slimmer hands as well. Quality is great for them as well, isn't it? It still retains the same close focus and light gathering and brightness, sharpness and uh, also colour rendition of the Diamondbacks. And how do they, how do they suffer um, on low light levels towards the end of the day? Towards, well, towards the end of the day, as with any entry-level binocular, you're going to start losing it unless you're sort of going up to spend yeah. a four, uh, four figure sum. You will start losing a little bit around the edges. But for certainly for sort of uh, a binocular that occupies 150 to 200 pound price point, um, we've found that they uh, they more than hold their own for what they are. And sorry, and the well, we've got them in um, 8 by 42, 8 by 42, 10 by 42, and 10 by 52. Yep, and, and they're all between 150 to, to 200 pounds. They are so indeed. It's yes. a nice yes. entry, entry market, that, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a, it's not the cheapest of the cheap, um, yeah. but they they certainly got the technology and the sort of new optical technology in there um, that allows them to be. A, a decent value for money. And whereabouts distributor wise, where are we at the moment? Where can we get hold of them? Um, they are sold throughout the UK by through the uh, our network of uh, optical retailers, uh, specialist optical retailers, camera stores that also sell binoculars, and also general outdoor sto stores as well have got them in stock. Excellent. And, and also fishing stores as well, just to, get, uh, to put that in as well. Excellent. So plenty of places to go and get them. If you need any more information, obviously visit the new pro stand or look for more information on fieldandruralife.com. David, thanks very much. Thank you for your time. Pleasure talking to you. Likewise, cheers. Excellent product. We'll see you soon. We'll do. Cheers. Thank you very much. Ta